you know, they're demagogues on the left and the right, uh, I think mostly on the right. Uh, Bill O'Reilly, for example, calls me a communist. Yes, yes, I mean, he, he does. You know, um, he called me a well, communist. Well, I'm happy you brought it up, actually, because I was going to mention Mr. Bill O'Reilly. Uh, you know, so uh, you, you actually wrote a blog recently uh, where you said, let me bring it up here, it says, why won't Bill O'Reilly debate me? And so, uh, you know, you took issue with things that he had to say about you on The O'Reilly Factor. And so I just want to take a look at a clip at what it is that he was saying. Now, obviously, I was giving Wright some jazz, uh, and I thought that was it. He wrote his column on the Huffington Post. He, you know, he didn't like it. Okay, fine. But Reich can't let it go. Yesterday in the New York Times, he writes a column that says, quote, a year or so ago, actually it was 18 months, Professor. Bill O'Reilly did say on his Fox News show that I was a communist. I couldn't imagine what I'd done to provoke his ire except to appear on several TV shows arguing for higher taxes on the wealthy, which hardly qualified me as a communist, unquote. Reich went on to tell the readers that this was an example of an uncivil society, that I viciously attacked him, and then some guy at an airport called him a communist as well. Um, responses, why is this word communist something that's so popular? I get called a communist all the time, too. Well, Bill O'Reilly has been calling a lot of people a lot of things for many years. Uh, and his show and shows like his show have contributed to a, 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 an atmosphere in this country in which people on the right uh, demonize people on the left. And a lot of people on the left demonize a lot of people on the right. Uh, no conversation is going on. I have said to Bill O'Reilly repeatedly, will you please have me on your show so we can debate this? Uh, you know, instead of calling me names, instead of disagreeing with me, just invite me and let's have a civil discussion. He will not do that. And if I could, if I could jump in, uh, of course the debate between you and Bill O'Reilly about calling you a communist is very important to the country. It's but an essential movie, issue. It's in the, but it's in, in the, the context movie. of the film, what this means is that as we see income inequality growing, you also see political, par political partisanship growing as well. The, the line tracks. As income inequality grows greater, the sort of social fabric starts to fray a little bit. This is the stuff that I don't know if people totally get when they think about income inequality. They think, boy, that's bad that the rich are getting richer and the poor are suffering more and more. But they don't necessarily know that as this income inequality grows, a lot of the things that hold us together start to fray. Social fabric comes apart, political partisanship grows. When you see a House and a Senate completely dysfunctional, our government sort of not working for the people, part of what's making that happen is that our society has been growing more unbalanced economically, which leads to very different realities for people at different economic parts of the spectrum. Well, it, leads so to, instead, it leads to social unrest often. You know, I mean, this is something that I think that we're seeing uh, around the world right now, if you look at what's been happening in Europe. Yeah, but then it gets stuck in the uh, news cycle. At least too, but, but it, yeah, and so it gets stuck in the news cycle because people are frustrated, people are uh, angry, and then people like to blame everyone else everybody for, for all the problems everybody. in the world, it's right? It's a big, huge I, blame game. I want to I mean, play, I wanna play one more clip, this. too, um, just, for, just from O'Reilly the other night, you know, since we're still on it, uh, he, and, he and Bernie Goldberg went on to talk about this a little further. Take a look. His mistake is that he used the co your comment, your commie comment, as a jumping off point when it was <laughs> clearly, clearly a joke. I call my liberal friends commies all the time, and they know it's a joke. And Robert Reich, who's a smart guy, I mean, I, I've met him, I've interviewed him, he's a smart guy, and yet as a progressive, like so many other progressives, he hasn't progressed into the 21st century. He has said that this is a communist witch hunt. These are not the 1950s, <laughs> Professor Reich. Bill O'Reilly is not Senator McCarthy. It's a joke. All right. Bernie Goldberg and Bill O'Reilly, if it's such a joke, invite me onto your show and let's debate it civilly. You know? Uh, why can't we talk? In fact, if you don't want to invite me on your show, Bill O'Reilly, let's do it here, Huffington Post Live, right here. I, okay, I challenge you, be a man, have the courage, come on here, and let's debate. And let's have a civil debate.